In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make calculated columns from values in a dataset. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a view from a dataset. Use projections to manage columns. Create a calculated numeric column and then create a calculated text column. In a previous video, we created a dataset with an intelligent lookup that matched the customer survey data with a list of customer details. If you wish to see how to use intelligent lookup, watch the video using intelligent lookup to match tables with inconsistent data in Datasphere. For an intelligent lookup to be used in a relational model, it must be given a semantic usage. To do this, we will use a view to reimagine the data. In Datasphere, select Data Builder. Make certain to select the correct space. Click New Graphical View. In the repository, expand Intelligent Lookup and drag Customer Survey Matched onto the canvas. Turn on Data Viewer. We want to use the lookup data to act as a fact table in our model. Fact tables are tables that connect to other tables from their primary keys. They also contain measure data associated with those key tables. The lookup data has the primary keys for the customer details data, the date the survey was taken, plus customer survey scores. The other details will be repeated on the connected tables, so it is not needed on the fact table. Select the view node. Change the business name to reflect the new view. The default semantic usage is a relational dataset. This is a good option to act as a fact table. In the node menu, select the rename exclude columns button. This is a projection node that allows columns to be renamed or excluded from the new view. Select Client Name in the Properties. Click on the More option and select Exclude Column. Repeat this for Input State ID, Company Name, City Name and Lookup State ID. Select the view node. Drag the customer ID below the survey ID. Select the calculated columns button. In the properties panel, click on the add new calculated columns button and select calculated column. Change the business name to Combined Survey Score. In the expression box, add the formula Satisfaction plus Will Use Again divided by 2. Note as you type, options for columns and operators will appear to be selected. Click Validate. Note that the data type will change to represent the results. Click on the column link to go back to the Properties panel. Click Save. Click Save again. Once saved, click on the Calculated Column node. Add another calculated column. 
changed the business name to Survey Rating. Select the Other button. Under Case Expression, select Case When Then Else End. Case is an if statement type found in SQL. It will return different values based on their expression. Put the when then else end on a new line. Press tab to indent the script. Put the else end on a new line. Between the when and the then, add the expression combined survey score greater than seven. After the then, type promoter in single quotation. Copy the when line to a new line. Change the when expression to greater than five, and then the result as neutral. Between the else and the end, type detractor in single quotations. Click validation. Click on the column link to go back to the properties panel. Select the view node. Drag the survey date below customer ID. Turn on data viewer. Check that the combined survey score and the survey rating are correct. Save the changes. Once saved, click Deploy. In this tutorial, you learned how to create a view from a dataset, use a projection to manage columns, create a calculated numeric column, and then created a calculated test column. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalog of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprime.com.